When I think of my good friend, Lisa Adamson, I think of someone who is one of the sweetest people you will ever meet. Someone who is humble and gracious and so much fun. Someone who exemplifies a servant's heart, both in the way that she gives of herself to her students and her colleagues. Lisa has spent time teaching in both third grade and in kindergarten. There was a little bit of back and forth between those two grades, but I believe Lisa would tell you that kindergarten is her real love. Kindergartners are wiggly, sweet, hilarious little people who are forever curious about every little thing around them. And it takes a special person to nurture them and start them on the path of learning. And Lisa is perfect for that. She truly loves her kindergarten students and just pours herself into them. For Lisa, teaching is not her job, it's her ministry. And she teaches with patience and love and creativity. And her students just bloom and thrive under her care. One way I know of how loved Lisa is, is when she walks by and my students see her. My second graders all talk about how she is the best and how she is one of their favorites. And as a matter of fact, one of the students said to me, I always like to hug her and tell her that I loved her. And she loved me too. And I just loved how they were so confident that she loved them. I believe that each one of us would say that we have been beyond blessed to have her in our lives. She will be dearly missed, but I'm excited for what she and Mike have to look forward to, and I know God will continue to use her in the lives of people she comes in contact with in a very special way. The kindergarten year, they make um, plaster handprints. That's just a signature part of that year, and I think it's fitting to say that Lisa's handprint will long remain here at Village in the lives of the students she touched and the families that got to know her, and on those of us, the teachers who taught alongside her and are her friends.